Greetings, today I will show you how to grow seedlings for your aquaponics system, but this method could be used for regular gardening as well. In most aquaponics systems, the seedlings have to be grown outside of the system and transplanted, which stresses the plants and also adds dirt to the system, which I hate. The other method is to grow seedlings directly in the grow beds on top of a sheet of rock wool, which gets expensive fast. My method, on the other hand, costs no more than $6 and causes minimal stress on the plants. So for this project, you're going to need a container. And it doesn't matter the size, what matters more so is the shape. This particular container costs $20, but it's just as an example. You can go to Dollar Tree and do what I did and get a detergent container and simply cut off the top. Just make sure to use up all the detergents uh, and clean the container thoroughly. So the container is only a dollar, or you might already have something like it lying around, but the important thing is the shape. It needs to have vertical sides, not sloping sides, because otherwise this will not work. And you also don't want it to be too wide or too deep. If it's too wide, you'll have to fit more plants to fill it. And if it's too deep, uh, you can always just cut it down. But around three to four inches is a perfect height. So the next thing you're gonna need is coin rollers. These can be found at Dollar Tree. And I suggest you get the hard ones, not the flat ones that need to be folded on both sides. But you should get the ones that already have this little folded lip that makes it keep its shape. You also need cotton balls, which you can also get from Dollar Tree. The most important or unique item you'll need for this project is this LED grow light, which I got from eBay and they sell between one to $2. And it's a three watt bulb. And it's not gonna waste a lot of electricity and you can keep it on all day. Your cell phone charger being plugged into the wall probably uses more energy than this bulb. So it's very energy efficient. And the LEDs are red and blue, which is the light spectrum that is absorbed more easily by plants. Obviously, plants are green, which means that they reflect it back and thus absorb less green light, and they absorb more red and blue light. And white light is okay, but red and blue are much better for plant growth. And last, of course, you'll need your seeds. Here I've got lettuce, tomato, soybean, and basil, and some peas. But I think I'm going to use the peas for this specific video. So once you have your container cut, make sure it's nice and even. Mine is a little uneven, but it's even enough. Then you're going to take your coin wrappers and you're going to want to make sure you put them in with the lip side down. And for me, I found that it's much easier to load the wrappers in if I tilt the container on its side and then shove them in. And this is what it should look like. You could always add one or more, but you don't want to overstuff it. But it all depends on the size of your container. And with this size, I'm able to fit 23 wrappers in comfortably. You could always add one more or one less, but just go with whatever looks and feels right. Also, if you noticed, I only use penny rollers because I want to keep the size consistent and as uniform as possible. You could use the dime rollers or the nickel rollers, it doesn't matter. Next, you're going to want to take your cotton balls and just shove them in like so. And you want to get them in about two thirds down. It could be easier to load the rollers with the cotton balls before putting in the container, but it's all up to personal preference. Do whatever works for you. Once all your tubes are filled with one cotton ball each, then it's time to add your seeds. Just drop one on top of each cotton ball. Once you've got all seeds in place, you're going to want to water them. And I like to do between four to eight drops of water each day, every day. I use a cup and a straw, but you could use anything else. The straw method works best for me. And also, you're going to want to set up your light with a lamp and set it to about five to six inches above the top of the container. This light gets pretty bright and annoying. So keep it somewhere where it being on won't shine in your face or bother you. Just use a desk lamp to keep it five to six inches above the container if you have a lamp you can use. I don't actually have a spare lamp, so instead I'm going to MacGyver it with this light bulb to outlet adapter I had laying around and an extension cord and try to place it overhead about six inches above. And it'd be easier if I just used the lamp, but I don't have one. And that's it. Now just sit back and enjoy as I let this grow for about a week.
So this is what the peas look like after a week. I'm really happy with the results. The plants grew as well as I'd hoped, and this project is a total success, but it isn't over. And in order to transplant them, you'll want their roots to be strong enough and for the plants to be hardy enough to survive the transplanting process. It won't matter so much if you're transplanting them to dirt, but if you're transplanting them to an aquaponics system, the roots definitely need to be well established and strong enough to adapt. So to transplant, just take out the roll and there's the root. As you can see, there's no mold. The coin roller is a bit soaked, but not yet moldy, which is one of the things to look out for in case you overwater your plants. And so you could just stick the whole thing in since the penny roller along with the cotton ball are biodegradable. And especially if you have worms in your system as they will eat the paper. But I will be removing the roller since I don't want this much extra material in the system. So when you're ready to transplant, just dig out a hole, leaving yourself with some dry space. You don't want the base of the plants all the way to the bottom, just deep enough for it to get wet. Next, I'm going to remove the wrapper. The entire time being careful not to damage the plant or its roots. And there, you can see a very healthy root system. Again, being really gentle, more so than I was just now. And that's it. One of the biggest issues we face here is transplanting seedlings. And this method has done away with that problem entirely. Transplanting seedlings is one of the trickiest parts of most aquaponic systems, and one of the most expensive, since most people opt for transplanting fully grown established plants that they have to purchase. And of course, seeds cost a lot less than fully grown plants. So I hope you found this video useful or educational. And with that, I'd like to end this video by inviting you to check out my Patreon. Most of the aquaponics projects in this school are done out of pocket, which is why I have such a strong emphasis on the budget aspect here at Budgetponics. But with a bit of funding, I could do a lot more and it would help a great deal maintaining the systems here and creating more videos. Any little bit helps. So feel free to check out my Patreon page and thank you for watching.